So guys, before we start, the Lumi Talk is meant to be kind of a podcast, so sit back, relax, watch this while you're hunting or doing something else, and yeah, enjoy the video. Hey guys, Lilik HD here, and welcome back welcome to the Lumi Talk, the series where we say that we're going to be bringing it back every five months, and then we don't. So this is going to be episode eight of I blame the problem gold. with events. <laughs> I, I blame Armenti. Armenti completely sold, and he didn't what? want to do it anymore. Yeah, it's Dude, all Armenti's fault. Anyways, I've been playing too much um, Rainbow Six Siege, man. Apologies, let's, not uh, let's, let's just get into it. So I'm joined by Armenti. Say hi. No. I eat your face. Say what's up. Don't tell me how to live my life. And Pokey Nova, exactly. say what's this up. This is the problem hey guys, with HD, video, bro. Back. He's on the video. Up the video. We're gonna be Anyways, uh, uh, you're telling people the what main to do, topic bro. of today's video is going to be the problem with events. And now, what do I mean the problem with events? Well, the problem with roaming reskins. I think this is obviously a huge, Objective problem. huge problem. Um, and, oh, yeah, you know, big. Obviously, starting off, you know, let, let's get some, you know, theories started. Uh, Pope, what's your, you know, what's your entire thoughts on this? Okay, well, listen, I feel like events- uh, Okay, I, I really like- Inspirational Pokenova! No, okay, listen, I really liked, um, Gleaming Santa Ragoon and, like, the, the Halloween Shachi and the, and the Sluglings and stuff. I really liked the event reskins. Not only did I have to give Lumi and Legacy less money so, you know, I don't go broke, but, uh, I, I also just- I don't know, I feel like- the reskins are really cool, and sure, roamings are also dope, like reskinned roamings or whatever. But again, less money, and also, I'd low key want to see more reskins of just like normal Lumians. I'm actually yeah. kind of curious Agreed. how like like normal Lumians look like and like different kind of things, like Christmas and like. Halloween. I mean, not I can't. Be, they don't gotta be like uh limited to normal lumens we can have like a very reskin or like a pure mind reskin yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. And you know pure and or like an oxy drake reskin you know what i'm saying buddy i want to I, 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 I want to turn the question obviously to somebody who doesn't really hunt and that's i eat your face i eat your face <laughs> what do you think yeah what, what's about your opinion this thing? okay well you see an event is uh something where we obviously want to get the entire community playing the game because it's something special. You're you're trying you're trying to get them to do something because there's like the fear of missing out. Exactly. However, FOMO. Yes, exactly. FOMO. <laughs> but the problem again with the whole reskinned roamers is uh hey, free to play players, you know, the vast Bro. majority of your player base. Um they don't really like they they have that bit of FOMO, but like they they can't do anything about it. Like, they, they have to suffer through these unreasonable, I mean, can't, not really unreasonable, but, like, unfun odds of yeah. uh, just mindless yeah. hunting. And, uh, you know, after, like, the first hour of them doing it, you know, most of them just be like, well, um, there's nothing here for me. And yeah. so now you have this event where nobody's playing. And think about Bro, it like yeah. this. I mean, obviously, didn't it, wait, Lumi like, didn't it, like, what, add down to, like... Didn't, yeah, didn't yeah. the event die down to like 2k, 1k well, players? So, because okay, of it? well, let, let, let me just put this. It had to do with the Roblox outage. No, 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 no. This, this no, was, this no was literally the other day. So, the yeah, event, this, this, was like the, this was on like a Friday, like late Friday. I saw the I saw the game at literally 3,000 players, which. For Wait, let, let, like me, this, let me fact check this that. It's not could... like good. It was either like, the, like Thursday or Friday ish. So, basically, what I'm trying to say is. You know, obviously, a lot of Lumion Legacy's community are, again, free-to-play players that are very young. They don't have a lot of money to be spending on these events. Obviously, you know, the Lumion Legacy developers, you know, you know, they, they, they gotta get paid somehow. You know, for a lot of them, this is their main job. And, you know, again, they, they have to have the income to support, you know, people like T-Brad and obviously their families and stuff like that. But, obviously, you know, the main problem also comes where... Technically, you could be getting more money and also more players at the same time if you actually just had something like a, you know, Halloween Shachi, obviously, or Halloween Slugly, you know, stuff like, obviously, the event from 2019 was perfect. You didn't have to spend any roaming boost. You only had to spend gleaming boost if you really wanted wait, 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 to. Right? You're saying the 2019 Halloween event was perfect? I'm not going to say it, it was, was perfect. Great. I'm not going to say... Like, uh, listen, 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 listen. That was, like, I, the only listen. event they didn't hunt in I'm, the game. I'm saying... I'm not saying it was perfect. I'm saying the Lumians execute like the, the way they executed the Lumians was better, right? Obviously, roaming reskins are amazing. They look dope. Uh, I mean, the gleamings for them are amazing. Oh, they're too but expensive. They yeah, are exactly. They, just they are cost too expensive. So much money. The like, fact that you have to use 
two separate boost tokens to get the increased odds for one Lumion is completely just stupid. Which is why I think, you know, something like this Christmas, they do, you know, not trying to toot my own horn, but... Christmas Ferroglyph, Christmas Pyramind, you know, like, Ferroglyph is not affected by Rome Boost. It is one of the only things that is considered, you know, kind of close to a quote-unquote roaming that is, again, not Very affected good. by a Rome Boost. And oh. I think that's extremely important, again, for free-to-play players, because that's going to be, you know, their only option to get something rare this event. I mean, what's, what, what they can do, though, you know, you talking about it, they can maybe do like a half and half. Uh, they can do the rare roaming and the rare non-roaming. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and yeah they, no, no, no. Well, that's what they're, that's what they're the doing. Roaming. That's what they're nah. doing now, man. Nah, well, kinda, no, they did it too late. See, they did it right, but they did it way too late. Bro, they could have they could have done the right. Halloween fighter. Yeah, well, no, I, right, right now, don't they have um. The new Lumion that uh, one, of the, one of the fans, yes, Freebie. That right there is a rare that everybody wants. The Gamma looks super dope, right? And you don't have to pay any roaming boost for it. I just feel like they did it way too late. Yeah. I mean, like, they, they did a good job with I mean, back in the Valentine's event. Argonauts? They, yeah. They yeah, had a good variety there, but no roamer. So, yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Nymeray wasn't really. People say Nymeray is a roamer. The cake's right? off a settable. Dude, I, yeah, no, it's gross. <laughs> it I took me cakes. a thousand cakes. It took me a thousand. I have I'm never cake getting trauma. over that. I'm not me talking too. about cakes. It took me 1,000 cakes to actually get my first one, bro. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ. Imagine man. gamma hunting. <laughs> I, 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 I used like a hundred, I used like a hundred cakes, got my secret ability in Amore, I was out. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to talk about cakes, man. I don't want to. I about will it. say, like, you know, like events, events like that are actually like I, you know, they're, they're pretty fun. You know, like the whole cake thing. As much as people hated it, I actually liked it because again, it was kind of a thing for free to play players to go in there, you know, bake cakes. And oh, you actually all, got it in like three, yeah, yeah, and then bruh. get the, you know, get, get the gleaming lumen or whatever. And yeah, also, the, the something that I will say. Mm -hmm. Like, this is gonna be maybe a little bit of like a controversial take, but Milo is terrible. Okay. No, no, what? No, 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 it's just bad. It's really, really bad. You want bad. him to sell 20 oh. plus? No, I, I think more. I, yeah, I want him to sell more at the same price. Maybe if, you know, maybe a little higher if, if you know, you're going to, okay. you know, increase it more. Okay. So think about it like this. Again, the fact you have to use two different, you know, boosts to get the rare Lumion of this event is stupid. Imagine if you had 10 boosts from Milo, right? And again, they were still 100 candy corn per thing which means you're sitting there you know 100 candy corn for one boost a thousand candy corn for 10. it still requires you to play the game still requires you to obviously grind for them and at the same time right. you can actually still hunt and not quit after two days or not even two days more like again like two hours because again like a lot of these players are just getting discouraged because of the chances i'm not saying the chances obviously need to be changed but it's just like you know there needs to be something for the free-to-play players that is lower all right, all right. You had me going in the first. You had me in the first half because gonna... you, you saying Milo is garbage as just a blank thing. You were triggering me. <laughs> but uh, if it's just the lack of stock, this take is is acceptable. This yeah, take is yeah. Acceptable. yeah. It's it's, it's yeah. Just, okay, thought, but I... I have another thing here. Um, another problem with events, really, honestly, like this is still tying into like the the lack of stock kind of is. Uh, Really, there's nothing. There's nothing to do. Really, there, it's just you do the little mini game to unlock the roamer, and then you hunt. That's it. Yeah, that, exactly. that, that's it. But what what you could do is, um, I, I know this is the thing that they might like. They might be looking into. I don't know. I know they. It's on their radar at some po some point. But like, like like daily quests daily potentially. Quests, yes actually give you more boost tokens which would alleviate the whole milo being quests. garbage stock wise daily and, quests See? and that would yes. help alleviate the free to play aspect and while giving everybody something to do in the event every day it keeps people coming back and lumian legacy i will say is extremely like 
not welcoming to new like new players and what i mean by that is it is not like you you obviously go in there right and say that you want to hunt for something because there's, there's the argument that lumion legacy is pay to win right and well i don't necessarily think that it is pay to win per se because you're not really winning anything it's pay to I get will, good stuff it's pay, no, it's pay no it's pay it's, to f get rare it's pay stuff. for you know cosmetics pay to hunt pay to you know just all that stuff but you know when it comes down to it obviously See, again, it's not pay to win, but at the same I, time, I feel like there's too much an advantage. Yeah, I feel like there's well, too big no, 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 like, well, well, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me go. Let me go. I'm still, I'm still going on a tangent. I'm still going on a tangent. Like, okay, think about it like this. Obviously, you know, you start Lumion Legacy, and let's say you barely have any money, right? You know, you. But like, oh, I want to be like everybody else, and I want the cool, I want the cool gleaming dusky, and I want the cool gleaming Lumion. Well, oh, you know, you gotta lock it behind a paywall. A uh, really, you know, massive paywall that, you know, is, again, very, very difficult to actually get. You know, Lumi Boost tokens, obviously, they're spread around the map. But you only get, what, like, one for, like, every box you open or something like that? Like, again, the amount that you get is just too low. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree yeah, with you. Yeah. It's, it's, yep. it's hard to put four people who don't play, uh, who pay to win... To talk about free to win, uh, free, free to, free to play free, free, free to win. Nice at, at I feel like you just time, have to look at it. Yeah, at the same time, I think oh, yeah, you know, I mean, obviously me, me and me and Pokinova, right? I, you know, let's let's bring this all the way back to like before we were like you know, quote unquote, big Lumion Legacy YouTubers, right? And playing the game. I, you know, I barely had any Robux to actually go out and you know hunt for things. I oh yeah, I, I had to sell a classic fedora. To get, you know, Robux, and which is like one of like the only, you know, like good items I had on my, or on my, you know, Robux avatar at the time, had to sell that for boost tokens. And I, I just don't think it should have to come down to that, you know? Yeah, like, and, and for me as well, I didn't even have limited, so it's not like I could sell anything for boosts. I literally like worked my butt off, right? Like, yeah. you know, cleaning, cleaning the floors, cleaning the stairs, you know, uh, doing stuff in the backyard you know maybe shuffling snow or something and i'd get some, some money right from my dad and then i'd spend that on boost tokens in the game and you know now obviously that i have a youtube channel i can just like spend a tiny bit of the money i get from that into the game to get boost tokens that way but back then when i was pretty much you know free to play or i didn't have any robux to actually play and hunt i just Busted my butt because I really loved Lumion and I wanted to be like everyone else and hunt. So I I did that and you know that gives you like a limited amount of boost tokens. It's not like you know you're making fat stacks. You're probably making if you did what I did. You're probably making only like twenty dollars every. Not even maybe like ten fifteen dollars. What is that like eight hundred? Uh, Let's uh, not get into numbers on there, right? So so you'll have like 50 boosts right and in 50 boosts i i most of the time anyway in 50 boosts i get like nothing so you yeah. know exactly like, I'm, I'm 50 boosts I'm just, you know like obviously nowadays you know you kind of put it into perspective i'll be running like 25 hours of boost at a time right and I mean, yeah at the, you know at the, whenever i'm done with it i don't get anything you know, not not that i don't get anything i should say uh, obviously, you know, I get some gleaming. You get and gammas, gammas and, like, and yeah. And, but it's just, like, obviously you... But no you, gleam you Halloween protagons, right? Like, no rare. no gamma nevermares or nothing like that. Just, like, so, gamma and casually and through gamma nevermares? Yeah, what are more... Well, no, 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 no. That happened over the span of 1.2k boost tokens. So, you know. Yeah, and I just feel like, again, the amount of, you know, just Lumi boosts that you get inside of Lumi Legacy needs to be more. Because without, or, you know, with, you know, the current state of how things are with, you know, Milo's market. Or maybe, you know, just boxes, maybe, just hear me out. Maybe we don't need more Bloomy Boost tokens. We need easier odds. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. No, listen, no, I don't, I don't no, agree no, no, with no, no, you. No, 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 listen, no, no, Listen, Adrian has nothing on us. He would shit himself of peace. <laughs> All, like all the odds if he saw gamma halloween protagon's odds he would quit lumion legacy immediately but all well, the shiny I, listen, I don't, I don't I'm proud of that. okay i'm proud of that i don't agree with you i don't i don't, I don't, I don't think you I know, know i don't think odds need to be lowered lumion legacy i, I but don't say, don't just boost, need more boost. Don't boost listen, listen, necessarily listen, listen, lower the i like rares i like finding rare things and when i find rare things i feel like you know dang 
I spent all this time. This is like a reward for all the time I spent, right? But when you just lower the odds and you find it, it's like, damn, you know, that's not really as rare, so I don't feel as fulfilled. Wait, wait, can I, can, and... I, wait, can I cut you off right there? Listen. No. Yeah. The main, obviously, you know, you're saying, oh, well, odds should be lowered. Number one, no. Number two, that's why you have a common in the event not as necessarily like a common you know something like a like a halloween kabunga no you have something again Bunga. like the halloween slugling the halloween shot sheet stuff of that nature you put inside of the game that way there is that thing that it is the you know lower odds kind of lumion for exactly the people that are and to play. that I immediately mean, fixes the problem it fixes the problem of you know oh quote unquote odds being too high Odds have never been, you know, too high in Lumion Legacy to the point where people have not found something. Gamma Ice Eagle. People have found Gamma Ice Eagle. What was Gamma Ice Eagle? One in like 400k. Gamma Halloween Protagon. One in 249k. People find Gamma Halloween uh, people you know, who, Protagon. People who, people who quote unquote pay to win, pay to get boost tokens. What yeah, about but, those? But, who, but, but I'm saying this is different. Like you're trying to make the you're trying to say that, you know, odds should be lowered, but obviously, you know, the people that are gonna be going and, you know, for those really, really high Lumians are going to be the people who spend more money on this game. What I'm trying to say is that people who spend little to no money on this game should have a cheaper or less rare alternative to find out in the wild. Or maybe with events, they could drop a side little story because people who don't hunt and don't do PvP, they're in it for the story, which is at least the majority of Lumion Legacy. When they drop, when they'll drop a plane, then you're gonna see at least 80,000 people playing. And I assure you that 70,000 of those people won't be hunting or PvPing or trading community. They will be here for the story. Exactly. So, Ooh. like, okay, I understand where you're coming from, yeah. but a side story would probably take them, like, way too long. They can remember, yeah. you maybe gotta do remember like a five minute one. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Yeah. T. Branham, T. Branham's a scripter, yeah. and that and script and the story takes a lot of scripting, and that's what's mainly taking them that long to push out updates, story-driven updates in the first place. So it's like if you're adding story to an event, even if it is five minutes, it'll take them much longer than if they just, you know, did what they do for every single event. Mm, but that that is a good the, idea. But I'm just saying, like it take yeah. The, pro the it, problem it take with longer. that is just their lack of resources. They they don't yeah. have the resources available to put all that into making a great event. Like obviously, we all know the those the events are missing that aspect. But it's uh, unrealistic of us to expect it. Like it's not unrealistic of us to want it, but it's it, it feels pretty unrealistic to expect that kind of thing. True. And uh, that. Yeah, it's just you know, uh let's let's get the wobblisk. Let's get Mr. Wobbliskit. Uh as an example. You had to get a key, then go through a gate, go in a cave and find it. You could have added three NPCs in that cave. You could have made the key uh after getting the key go in a small little story, maybe like go over a bridge. Easily make that whole adventure twenty more minutes. I mean just throw in NPCs and have people fight and add I don't know, just to get the stuff for settable roaming for the Nevermare, you had to win the mini game, then go down the stairs, boom, you find the rooftop for settable. Maybe make that whole process instead of being five minutes, because well, at least if you if if you if you get lucky with the mini game, it's five minutes, but if you don't, it's longer. Instead of making it five minutes, you could easily like, throw more NPCs, throw a little bit of more map. And boom, there you have your little mini side quest yeah, to get but, the stuff. But for then settable. again, that takes like way too long, and then and then like it'll take them longer to actually put out story updates that aren't related to events and then it's just more co uh, time consuming which is so a big problem for lumian legacy how just time consuming everything can, is can I, can I, just like, adding more to that just won't help in my can opinion. i shift topic like i want to shift topic into something that i think is pretty interesting okay Let's see and that okay. would be does Lumion Legacy have too many events? Because a lot of the time I see people saying, you know, the problem with events, you know, sometimes they're rushed, sometimes they don't have enough, and sometimes there are too many events. And I, and I think people, I tweeted something people, along those people lines. People feel like they are prioritizing events over story. So, do you guys think that it should, you know, let, let, let's say in a, in a universe, Cause War event does not exist, right? Atlantean City is out sooner. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Good. <laughs> Um, considering well, the time I gap but like, like the cosmic. like if the cosmior event was happened sooner yeah sure but it's been, I, like I at that think point it's been so long he, since here's, it's here's here's the, the, right. i think they could sacrifice any event as long as it's not halloween 
or uh or christmas, christmas to work on the content updates true because let, let's be real we didn't have a valentine's in 2019 we didn't get one in but, 2020 but we had one in, it was good yes it was good 100 yeah, percent. i yeah, loved we it. didn't have a valentine's in 2019 because the game wasn't out yet well okay <laughs> you, you, you got my point 2020 same point applies point being is they could sacrifice those events and work on the store and the content but update but the that, that is that true, always... but I, I'm at, like looking I, at this I, I as a hunter, I love, right? I love the event, but I'm just saying they could be sacrificed to there's, spend more time for that, That's true, but how, wait, 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 lucky, lucky, lucky. How, cl how close, how much closer does Atlantean get if we don't add the Cosmic? So let's say, and uh, let's say hey guys, Lucky HD from the uh, far future here. Basically, the latter half of this video got corrupted, and unfortunately, we're not able to record it tonight, so I just wanted to get this out there for you guys. So we're gonna be, you know, cutting it pretty, uh, pretty short here. But I do have to mention that all of the episodes are going to be on my channel, I Your Faces channel, Armenti's channel, and Pokinova's channel. So be on the lookout for that. And also to, you know, kind of wrap up everything that we were saying. Basically, we think that it is a good idea for them to maybe not, you know, work so much on events like the Cosmore update and the Valentine's update. If that means that, you know, they can get things like Atlantean City out faster, obviously. So, with all of that being said, I definitely want to hear you guys' thoughts about, you know, this entire, uh, Lumi talk down in the comments below. The vi you know, the video was supposed to be 35 minutes long, but again, it- the latter half of it got corrupted, so I'm sorry about that. Um, and also, there is literally no internet at my house for an entire week. I'm having a great time, guys. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you're going to like, subscribe. Again, also let me know your thoughts about the topic down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.